And welcome everybody here on Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Teemo timelines. That's right, we're back at it. Yesterday wasn't enough as far as the meme tier day goes. We had plenty of other sweet meme tier donation decks to get to. So we're back at it. Today is meme tier Tuesday. We usually only have meme tier Monday, but we got another one this week. This one's going to be a sweet deck. This one was um, courtesy of a, a viewer who submitted it, but from uh, Saucy Mailman, another great uh, streamer and YouTuber. If y'all don't know about Saucy Mailman, look him up over there. Um, but this one's going to be a Teemo Trundle deck with concurrent timelines. For the rest of the game, the first time you play a follower each round, pick one of three followers with the same cost to transform it into. And uh, we're going to be kind of a control deck with Karina Veraza. The reason why we're playing Trundle in here is because Trundle gets Ice Pillar. Ice Pillar is an eight cost follower that whenever you play it, you refill your eight mana. Well, if you have concurrent timelines, then you transform Ice Pillar into some other awesome eight drop, but you still get to refill your eight mana. So that's just such a great combo. And so that's what we kind of have in here. Also, Karina Veraza could be really nice with the nine mana card because we have a 60% chance, just like y'all know about the Ledros, um, Dreadway combo. I guess we have to head on over to Bilgewater. But we're also going to have the Karina Veraza Dreadway combo. And Dreadway is the 9 drop that doubles all the damage by your skills, spells, and allies. And of course, the Karina Veraza is a skill here. And we have tons of spells in our decks. So like, let's say we hit 4 out of the 5 cards or spells, then that's going to do 8 damage because it will double it with the Dreadway. So do 8 damage to their Nexus and to all of their stuff. So that could be really cool. Uh, but besides that, we're going to be playing lots of removal spells, trying to get the game to go longer. We'll have Chump Wump to give with the Mushroom Clouds to give them Puff Caps. Teemo, give our opponent Puff Caps. And uh, then also have Hexcore Foundry. Have them draw a lot of Puff Caps with Hexcore Foundry as well. All right, so let's get to it. Let's try it out. Teemo Timelines. Just playing over in normal because it's meme tier day. All right, looks like we're playing against a Watcher deck. So we'll see if we are able to uh, win this one or not. Okay, so our Tavern Keepers are gone for sure, and honestly, probably Aftershock also. Actually, let's just mulligan it all. <laughs> Turn one Teemo. Right. So we want to find Teemo, we want to find concurrent timelines. Foundry could be good. Foundry may just help our opponent find the like watcher combo cards that they really want to find though. Okay, I'll play this, see what they want to do. That'll give me the option of playing the Hexcore Foundry or not. Let's do it. Yeah, we got Corona Dreadway in here. Uh, we got Ice Pillar. Plus Timelines as well. These old eyes still see far and clear. Another day in the field. You pick them, I'll plant them, kid. Well, they're going to have a full hand, 10 cards. Swiftly. What are you trying to do? Kill my Teemo? That ain't cool. This could be like the case of like, I'm supposed to just keep in tomb to try to stop the Watcher. But nah, I want to hit him with Teemo. Alright, so they're going to burn one card. Ooh, Burned a Vengeance. It's a good card to burn.
Because, yeah, so I have nine cards as well. Uh, I guess we take Rune Runner. Rune Runner plus a deal one damage to all their stuff. That seems pretty, pretty good, pretty good. Yeah, if, if they have Spectral Matron, then, like, an Entomb doesn't stop the Watcher anyway, and there's a very good chance they'll have Spectral Matron. Alright, we got him to burn two Vengeance. So that's definitely good. The trolls are going to war! But yeah, with that Catalyst of Aeons they had last turn. Hmm. They just get to the 8 mana before me. This will help them unload their hands. So I can discard concurrent timelines. And I guess probably the Chumpawump. Yeah, we both have the cool top end, but they are more... Their combo <laughs> ends the game a little faster than ours, unfortunately. Let's get rid of the Tavern Keeper on either card. They're a little more explosive than us at the top end. So if they have if they have the matron, they definitely win the game. If they don't, we have a chance. Not really, actually. They just have to have anything that costs A plus. Okay, there's Matron. Because Matron puts in one watcher, but they still get to hard cast their other watcher. I demand a rematch. Not really. Okay, good. Planes against something else. Yeah, I'm not sure what the game really looks like of us winning with that matchup. How we just... We let... We have them draw into all of their cards. And then we also... They also uh, speed up because they have ram and, and we don't. And they are also a lot faster than us. I don't know about this Hexcore Foundry in our deck. I think I kind of like everything in our deck except for this Hexcore Foundry. I don't know if it actually fits. I guess it fits with Teemo. But that part's probably not necessary. So basically I'm thinking here, like, you know, like we're playing against an aggro deck. It's just, you know, spending... Spending three mana to help our aggro deck get get more stuff and us not have stuff. I don't know if that's like something I want to do. Oh no, I need to kill that. I don't have anything to discard though. I guess I do. The very next turn, the Chump Womp that would have made the Mushroom Clouds to discard. So that saved six life. I could see this being like an Ezreal Trundle deck. Maybe not going 
Um, you know, maybe go, just going Ezreal, Trundle, Control. Alright, that brings back the Sharks. Saw something pretty crazy. They look angry. That's a lot of damage. Yeah, I don't really see us having time to play that the hex core foundry. So a 5-5 or a 3-5 that brings along Sand Soldiers? I guess the 3-5 that brings along Sand Soldiers. Because the 5-5 wouldn't do the one damage, I and plus Trundle has regen anyway, so that doesn't really matter. But there's definitely some stuff here. Like, PNC removal is very good. Freljord has very good... Um, Faithless creature. ways to slow the game down, and uh, and then like I, you know, concurrent timelines with like Ice Pillar and Karina Veranza definitely powerful, because they they are at nine. I mean, this is this is six damage to their Nexus. I guess I could go Foundry and just cast Cloud Cloud, just kind of see if they can draw three Puff Caps, and I got nine damage here. Like, what do they have? What do they possibly have in hand that they are just not playing anything? Probably have another Azir. Alright, maybe I just do this. I was planning on shooting their Nexus, but. Ah, uh, Rekindler. Well, that got me. Yeah, Rekindler got me. We don't get the summon abilities of either of those other two cards. So the Rune Runner just makes more sense. I know I could have got the free 8-drop right here, but, you know, I was expecting them to go to attacks. You lost. Nothing's tougher than a troll. Crumble. Okay, free a drop. And we level up Trundle, and we get a Leviathan, I guess. So 8-4 eight eight Overwhelm. That's also pretty nice. And it's got Spell Shield. All right. I've killed people with Leviathans plenty. Grandfather Rumel's not not as much. This is an 8-4 with Spell Shield and Overwhelm. So I don't know how they stop that. Uh, 
That's perfectly fine. Should just be game. Grandfather Rumo Lethal. Let's go. All right. See, that's that's powerful right there. Ice Pillar with concurrent timelines. That is really powerful. Ooh. Leeson, Zoe, Aphelios. Everyone's favorite champions to play against. All right, Karina Veraza, you are going to get mulliganed. And we'll just mulligan these as well. Alright, got ready to turn one Zoe, that's big. Hmm. They also had turn two Zoe. Hopefully we kill turn two Zoe. Okay, good. All right, now we got the, the timelines out before the Chump Womp, which honestly may not be the best. Like, a 4-3 isn't bad, but, you know, like, there's better stuff at 4 mana, but there's also worse stuff. So we'll see how this goes. Yes, Hunting Fleet. Hunting Fleet's like the best thing to hit. You just get regular old 6-6. Six, six. Four mana 6-6, six, six, baby. No downside. It's a 4 mana 6 6 that also creates two cards, so you get to draw two. <laughs> Just all upside. Oh, yeah, Crocolith? Yeah, Crocolith's a good one. We don't get to attune, but it's also an elusive in case they play a spell. Because, yeah, the spell turns that into a 2 2. So they have three Zoe's, so that means Lee Sin and Aphelios, they only have three total copies of those two cards. Yeah, we got to Ice Pillar. Um, Ice Pillar make a Grandfather Rumel. That was pretty cool. Wow, took it all. Took it all. Our enemies would be foolish to underestimate you. I and mean, I guess it wouldn't be bad giving them these mushroom clouds. Ah, oh, we don't get the plunder. We don't get any of this. So, I guess so. It's a four-five. So five can't. Hmm. This is tough. Am I going to be deep? No, I guess we're probably not going to be deep. So we'll just take the Legion veteran. Because they. They are a Targon Ionia deck, so you'd think that they'd be drawing a good amount of cards. Like, just giving them a bunch of Mushroom Clouds doesn't sound like that bad of a thing. Just giving them a bunch of Puff Caps. I'll just pass. I think I'm going to rummage them away. I don't need to rummage them away right now. It's, I wouldn't be playing a one drop. I guess maybe we draw Teemo. I play that one drop, but. <laughs> okay, well, it would have been Teemo. Yeah, so I guess I could get a leveled up Teemo if I get if I just give him all these puff caps and then play leveled up Teemo. That could be a thing. Our enemies cannot hide. Strike firm, center your spirit. Victor? Hmm. 
Victor, I think, would be a little slow for this deck. Because Victor's already a real slow champion. I'm not sure if that's really where you want to go. So they only have two cards. They have two gems, the super cool star chart, and then only two other cards. That's not that many other cards. Like, I'm planning on trying to hit them with this leveled up Teemo. Wow, that Zoe was at 8 out of 10? I didn't even realize that Zoe was that high. I guess they did play a lot of different named cards. They already played that card. So just generic 4-3, generic 3-3, generic 3-3. We'll just take generic 4-3. That card's scary. That card's even scarier. Right now they have 20. So I can either have them have 40 or 60. If I go 40... No, we're going 60. I know I... So now I won't have those to rummage, but... 60 puff caps is a lot. We have Karina Veraza next turn. No! Hush! Oh, hush. Dang. This is looking good. They only had a couple of cards, but now they... <laughs> seemed like they had... It seemed like their only, like, couple of cards was actually, like, a million cards. So they got Lifesteal to go back to 20. At least they didn't grab Overwhelm to kill me. Oh, never mind. They, they have Overwhelm to kill me also. Alright, well. So yeah, I have to have... Three sisters in tomb, that's my only option, right? I think that's the only thing that saves me. If this works, playing Karina next turn would be better. Okay. Okay. All Shrima. Yeah, the five champions. Hmm. I guess we'll we'll try the Hexcore Foundry Teemo thing. Because obviously we're going to have the Teemo turn one. So might as well try the Hexcore Foundry to go along with Teemo. They also have one less card in their deck because of the Buried Sun Disk. Slow him down a little bit. You need not follow, but you will witness. Azir is a great three drop. That card is fast. Kills people very fast.
So you can save Teemo depending on what they do. Okay, so that one... We have to go Flash Freeze. Oh, what? Oh, it's just permanent minus one minus zero, right. Ugh. Maybe I shouldn't have saved Teemo. Man, what a hand. But that's, that's the, like, this is why I don't like playing Hexcore Foundry, right? Like, we spent, we take a turn off to have our opponent have a perfect curve. Like, that doesn't, and that does, that, that's not, that's not good. Because, you know, like, tur Buried Sun Disk into Rock Hopper on 2, Azir on 3, the Sand Spinner, which was the perfect four card on 4, then Rennington on 5. Rennington plus Shapestone on 5. Does not get any better than this. Slow removal. Yeah, we need more like gotchas. I think there's some good stuff here. I think I think I would kind of change change the deck around a little bit, but I think there could be some some good stuff with this kind of deck. They have another shape stone. The game's over. Or, you know, anything. Yeah. Yeah, we need... <laughs> yeah, we would need, like, Peddler for this. Yeah, this, this high score Foundry just doesn't, doesn't fit in here. We can't take... We can't take time to make our opponent's deck amazing. Doesn't... That doesn't work. Okay, Brom Vladimir. Don't know, like Mystic Shot kills like the one drop and that's about it. I mean, our deck is Teemo Foundry. I guess I, I guess I should just play what the deck is. <laughs> we saw that last game though, why Teemo Foundry just doesn't, why it doesn't work, but that is what the deck is. Maybe I should probably just keep it. Okay. And Mystic Shot may not kill like a whole lot of stuff, but it's it's inexpensive. And when you play Foundry, you need to play inexpensive cards. Okay, that's that's the one drop. That's the one card that Mystic Shot does kill. So I'm doing this during combat like this. Um, because I don't want them to be able to play something. I'll try anyway. Right, like, if I just attack and do damage, then it's their priority. They play that Crimson Disciple. Now they already got the value out of that Crimson Blood Letter. Aftershock. Aftershock. Wow. That would be important, getting Scar Grounds out of here. Let me show you what I can do. I'll scout ahead. So Death Lotus can kill Teemo. Cool, no Death Lotus. But I wasn't going to not attack. Just because they can have removal that kills it. Alright, we found concurrent timelines. Goes great with our ice pillar. I know this was a good time to play Trundle, but if I play Trundle, then Teemo probably dies. Okay. I wanted to protect Teemo. Right, 
the Teemo still did die. But we killed Braum. Also not bad. And for obvious reasons, I can't play Kempunk Shredder in this matchup. I'll be playing the concurrent timelines this turn, but I want to, to kind of see what we drew and everything first. Because, I mean, you never know. Maybe we need all of our spell mana. So what do I have? I have a Mystic Shot and... Like I said, maybe we need all of our um, all of our spell mana. Gotcha seems like it would have been really good in this deck though, like with all these hex like with these hex core foundries, how we're drawing all these cards, the gotchas would have really helped. You got a problem? I've got meat bigger than you. Two. Yeah, go ahead, Marcel. Marcel Ox, go ahead. All right, Ice Pillar, you got this. It's an 8 8 Overwhelm. So that can do 5 damage then, put that down to 11. Alright, not dead yet. Okay, still not dead. Basically kept all the troll chance because of the ability to you know reduce the power of attackers and keep us alive. I don't really like my chances at using Get Excited on the Crimson Disciple. Because of a card like, you know, Troll Chant or any of their protection cards. So much damage. Why do I have to have the scar grounds in play? Yeah, no way around that. All right, so there was our Teemo timelines deck. Um, we got to see that uh, there was some really cool stuff going on with the deck with concurrent timelines and with Ice Pillar. But then there's just other parts of the deck that that weren't really. 
um, holding up. Um, we did we really didn't have very much puff cap stuff. We only have Teemo and then you know maybe some mushroom clouds from the chump lump, and we just see that like that's just much too slow to to kill the opponents if we're trying to just kill them with puff caps. And um, and you know, like there is the hex core foundry to draw more cards, but really all that did was kind of help our opponents um, have really really good hands and and make it difficult for us to to slow them down. So this didn't really so th that kind of stuff just didn't work in here. I think that if you're going to play Teemo and Hexcore Foundry, you got to have Puffcat Peddler. I think that Puffcat Peddler is the most important card out of those, even more important than Teemo. Honestly, you you have to have Peddler so that all these spells are getting more and more puff caps in their deck, especially if you have, you know, multiple peddlers. That's that's really what you need. Just only having Teemo is just it's just too slow. So without Peddler, I would not recommend playing Teemo and Foundry. Um but I, I could definitely see some some cool stuff here with just playing a control version of concurrent timelines with Ice Pillar, um, and you know control version with Trundle and just all these good PNZ spells. I, I can definitely see some good stuff going on there. Um, so I would recommend just a different champion and um, which champion to go with. There are some some good options. You can you know like Ezreal makes a lot of sense um, with all of these you know with just having lots and lots of spells because you know especially if you want to go like Karina Veraza with a lot of spells. Ezreal makes a lot of sense. Lissandra slows the game down, though. You know, Lissandra has tough. It gives you, it, it can give your Nexus tough whenever you leveled up. Um, so like, Lissandra could be a good option. Another good option that slows the game down a ton is Braum. This could be a pretty sweet Braum deck as well. Even a card like Jinx, um, you know, is on a different part of the curve than Trundle. And if you um, level up Jinx, like if you're worried about not having enough cards, level up Jinx can draw you multiple cards. Heimerdinger doesn't work too well with concurrent timelines because um, your your turret that you play costs zero, and um, with it costing zero, that does not work very well with concurrent timelines. I wouldn't really recommend um, Heimerdinger. Vi is another just good champion for a control deck because it can it also slows the game down, controls the board, difficult to kill. It kills champions. It's awesome. The problem with Vi is that Vi and Trundle are on the same. Uh, part of the curve at five but vi is honestly like maybe like the best option out of anything um but it's on that same part of the curve but you know like that's so that's the kind of stuff Sejuani also can kind of control the, the board a little bit that's the kind of stuff to kind of think about like where where to go from there um i would i would like a little bit more variety in the i don't know like our removal spells like thermal channel beam didn't look very good with it being slow and having to spend all of your mana with a deck like this with like a troll chant deck you really don't want to have to spend all of your mana um, and you know, with that and aftershock being slow speed, I would have liked like some gotchas that were fast speed that could have been two mana quite a bit, but gotcha would have been nice. I don't know. Like, I think, I think that they're there, you know, we need to kind of build around, like figure out what the other champion is besides trundle and then kind of build your deck around that afterwards. But, um, I, I, I did like concurrent timelines in this kind of deck with Ice Pillar, and and uh, even you just don't you don't have to have a ton of followers to make concurrent timelines pretty good. Um, yeah, so there we go. All right, so there's Teemo timelines, our second meme tier deck today. Uh, those y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. If you've been playing the deck and you know you've been playing it from like the mailman and you, from Saucy Mailman, and if you've been uh, doing well with it. Let me know. Let me know in the comments. Let me know how you, you've been doing with the deck and uh, you know what you've been really liking about it, anything like that. Love to see those comments. All right, but that's all I got here for this one. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.